room with books. This is uh, the room that we have to find. Find the room filled with books. Let me run down the hallway. Ah. All right. Well, <clears throat> you know what it could be? It could be a... Uh... It could be the archive. Do I have to take a picture of these dolls? It's gonna test something. Wait, why am I somewhere else when I take the picture? She's a crazy... Oh, no, wait. Uh, we gotta go on this side of the shelf. Oh, there's the doll. What? <laughs> Something is lying next to the doll. These dolls in red kimono are called Hotsuki dolls and are a tradition of the Rogetsu Islands. Their origin is not known for certain, but they are said by some to have originated as dolls made by parents in memory of their deceased children. On some islands in the sea, the dolls are said to be unlucky, but here on the Rogetsu Isle they are placed in various different locations in order to ward off evil, evil spirits. I knew, I mean, I didn't know it, but I, I, I thought something was wrong with these. <clears throat> Let's go back through every room and look for the dolls. No, just kidding. No, stay! Oh, this is the doll that I... That I thought... I thought this was weird when I was here, but I didn't think about taking a picture. I mean, who puts a, dolls he a doll here? Only a weirdo. Is it gonna? It's not gonna disappear, right? It's just, it's gonna stay there. But we don't get a blue outline. Does this one count too, or is it just like, sort of, hidden away dolls? Or maybe there can be just one per room. Oh well, those are the only two we're ever gonna find. Just letting you know before you're disappointed. And why can't we... Why is there something? Is something in here? Oh. Somebody hung? I was supposed to take pictures of... Objects as well. Without any hints. Sheesh. This game is a mystery. I'm already baffled out of my mind. I'm baffled and I'm also baffled. The doorknob has rotten off. We take a picture? No. So, if, if I remember correctly, the last game that I played was made of black water and it was like full of fights. I think this is already a lot better than in that game when I'm fighting like almost every room. Let's see if there's a doll in here. So we're not going to go out of our way to look for the dolls, but... When we're already in the room, we're just going to take a look. You know, observe. Throw our one good eye around the room. Not literally, more metaphorically. And see if there's any of those little rascals out and about. And now this game will take 40 hours. 
No, just kidding. I hope not. <clears throat> but I'm already expecting the worst. So we're looking for a room of books. There, there's the archive that where we've been, where we we've been before. That's downstairs. What is this here? It's just a curtain. Oh. I mean, who runs like this? She's running in, in the slow Olympics. Whoever gets to the to the to the finish last wins, but you have to run at your full speed, full capabilities. And she always wins. <laughs> no. Nice, a little girl telling us to die. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe later, not now. Now I'm good without dying, yeah, thank you. Let me check this room out quickly. Let's look for a doll. For a doll, I llama. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, they can't all be good. They certainly can all be bad. I don't see any dolls here. Or maybe uh, they're, they're. I feel like they're literally hiding them away from the player. Can we save again? Let's go for an actual save. We don't need to trade anything yet. All right. Where, where's, no, that's the dining hall. We need to find a room with a lot of books. I'm thinking library, but I haven't, uh, <clears throat> I haven't found a library yet. The office should be right, I mean left, and then right. This should be, I mean not the office, the, the archive. Let's look for dolls while we're here. Ah, I got one. Little rascal, you. <laughs> Gotta love this face, don't you? <clears throat> I know what it means. The, the doll's curses had been, lift, had been lifted. The story goes, there here is a ward against evil spirits. Oh, maybe if we lift the curse, they're warding again? I can already see the doll. Imagine you lose one of your children. And then as a memory, you make a doll. Or you ask to, to someone to get make you a doll of them. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Oh, ah! oh shit, that's my own head. It's my own shadow. <laughs> it's scared by my own shadow. I hate picking up stuff in this game. Oh, wait, the stun lens? Give me that. Give me the stun lens. Lenses. What? Lenses. Lenses. Equipped. Oh, that's it. It's, oh, what are these? Equipment upgrades. Okay, so we got. We can stun them now, hopefully. This is the room with the. With many books. We're looking for. 
Don't tell me there's another room with many books. Oh shit. Oh no! We attacked again. Oh, we need to change film. I have only the bad film. Did I get him? Please don't teleport behind me. Stay there, good sir. Behind me? Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> he's stuck. <laughs> he got stuck in this. Uh... Wait, do we take a picture when they die too? No. This has to be the thing that we're looking for. <clears throat> this is the key to Madoka's room. Nice that it shows us uh, where they are. Completely didn't get it. Oh wait, second floor? Okay, so room 203, Sacred Moon. Keep an eye out for for those dolls so you can write in the comments when I miss them and I can feel like an idiot. <laughs> now I think there's only one doll per room, I guess, right? I mean, again? Oh wait, no, I needed to take a picture. I need to take a picture. No, I was too low. Oh no, I it got her. It it wasn't blue for a second. Can I? Oh, I don't want to leave. Hang on, there's an item. Now there's an item here. Black mask fragment. It's a rotten mask piece. And a document <clears throat> by Professor Aso. A Kagura festival is held on his island on the day of the lunar eclipse. On that day, they say all living souls tend, tend towards the underworld and that the souls of the dead return from there. Since the moon symbolizes the soul here, the eclipse must be thought of as the consumption of the soul. <coughs> Jesus. Now quiet. The document I read was very old and fragmented, but I ascertained from it that this black black mask was said to have brought to the island a disaster known as the Day of Tranquility. I asked the head of the island about this, but he told me with a fearful look on his face that no such thing ever existed. It seems this mask of the lunar eclipse is something of a taboo subject here. From what I have discovered, the mask is a dangerous artifact, but still, I wish I could have had the chance to take a look at it with my own eyes. I, it could have been a great help in my investigations into the spirit world. Okay, uh, I like how they just spawn things where we've just been, and now now we can take something from there. I mean, at least we got the hint with the, the ghost lady, and then we couldn't leave until we took the picture. That is just like so, 2008 storytelling. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. So we gotta go second floor. That's in this direction. 
starting to get the hang of this place. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some film. Because I'm all out of the good film. Oh! <laughs> I need to play these games quieter. Oh no. Psycho girl. Oh, she tossed him down the stairs. That's the sadistic girl. I saw that happen before here a long time ago. It's a psycho girl. Okay, let's trade. Uh, three. We can get this for three film. Or we can just save and then... <clears throat> We can get a note that tells us where all the dolls are. I mean, I hope this is going to be useful and not show us... And only show us the dolls that we don't have yet. Extras cost. Okay, let's just save. Um, bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We need to find some better film. So on the left it's closed. We just got the door, the the, the key to two hundred and three. We don't have the door. I mean the key to a hallway. Let's investigate this. Maybe it's a ghost morsing somebody. Oh no, she's coming! I thought it was like a picture. I mean, I didn't think it was a fight. Get blasted, the lady! <laughs> Do you have to take a picture when they die? No. I think in, the, in one of the games you have to take pictures after you defeated them or something. Of their remains. Oh, that's what she said. Oh, now I got it. <laughs> yeah, now it's obvious. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking maybe I missed a doll in this room and that's why the ghost came here. I'm not finding any. Room 203. It's gotta be this room, right? Ah, oh, crap. Can't wait to have a close quarter fight in here with the crappy film. Yeah, these are these are clearly the drawings of uh, of a normal person. I mean, that much is clear. Uh oh, it's a bigger room. Oh, the camera obscura. It is an obscurity. Oh. Okay, let's do the pickup game. Ooh. This is a new type of film. I didn't have this one before. It's got to be more powerful than the 14 film. <clears throat> There's a diary that looks like it has been here a long time. 
August 9th. <clears throat> At night time, I know it's time for bed, but I get scared and I can't sleep. I get scared because when it gets dark, I see my face in the window. When I see my face in the window, my face is all wrong. My eyes are wobbly, my nose is bendy, my mouth is twisty. Inside my head gets all twisty too. I want to forget about Ayako and all the other bad things, but instead the good parts go away. So I hope tonight I can sleep well. Well, great. Diaries of a mad woman. Who am I kidding? We're all mad here. <clears throat> There's an old letter here. Letter to Madoka. It's from her mom or what? <clears throat> My darling Madoka. How are you? Did you choose a name for your new pet, Canary? He's going to be a lovely little friend for you. I'm sorry I can't visit you more often, even when I'm not there. Madoka, you know I'm always thinking of you. I'll bring you some crayons next time I visit, okay? I know how much you enjoy drawing, so I'm sure you'll like them. The doctors say that doing the things you like to do is good for you. It helps you fight your sickness and get better. So make sure you draw lots of pictures. I know it's scary when you can't remember things you want to remember, but don't forget, Madoka, you're Atsukimori. You know what the Tsuki in our name means? Moon, don't you? That means the moon protects us and keeps us safe. So don't worry, Madoka. Do what Dr. Haibara says. Behave yourself and be a good girl. I'll visit you again very soon. Mommy. Got the measure, the measure. I got the measure upgrade. Nice. I know exactly what it does. Oh, there's something else here. We gotta figure this out. We gotta figure out what the upgrades are. Uh, the measure shows the hit points for ghosts. Uh, we can equip three, three, three uh, upgrades. It's all equipped. We have nothing that's not equipped. Except for this film, Type 6. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna use this film now. But maybe it's a hint that we're gonna need it against this ghost here. I mean, if there's gonna be a ghost. Reach out to the mirror. Oh! It seems to be a pretty safe thing to do, huh? Ah, oh, crap. Did you see the guy in the corner here? The girl grabbed me from behind and there was a guy here here looking. He was standing like this. What the hell? Madoka sitting on bed. It's very not normal. Super unnormal. Let's see if we can loot before any interaction with her. So we're not getting lots of hands coming in. Oh, I forgot my face. We're not getting lots of hands coming in and uh, grabbing us while we're picking up stuff. I think I've had this happen once. This is not a real girl, isn't it? <laughs> Nurse's logbook. <clears throat> July 19. One item to report today. As before, the issue is with Ayako in room 207. 
At around 3 p.m. I heard Madoka crying, so I rushed to her room to check on her. When I got there, I found that her pet canary's head had been snipped off with a pair of scissors. Ayako was standing there with a pair of blood-stained scissors in her hand, so there's no question that she was responsible for killing the bird. I told her off as usual, but she just laughed at me. I got no sense what she had any appreciation, that she had any appreciation that what she did was wrong. It's one thing to say that she can't tell right from wrong, but Ayako's behavior is just too much. I worry about her negative influence on Madoka and the other children, but in accordance with the director's wishes, we are unable to take any effective measures against Ayako's transgressions. So the sadistic girl... Ah! I saw a doll. The sadistic girl was... Uh, you know, the bully girl was the protected one. And her name was Ayako. She's a, she's not a peeping Tom, she's a peeping, uh, what is a female name for Tom? No clue. Tom. <laughs> Nurse being called by Ayako. It's the bad girl. So, what is our next task? <clears throat> we do not have a task. Investigate Ayako's room. Okay, so here we can't go. This is where we took a picture of the news. Your schnooze? Oh, God damn it. Psycho girl. We're gonna get the good film for the girl. She just deserves it. <laughs> Super creepy. Super creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little creepy myself. Okay, those are not actual limbs. They're limbs of dolls. Don't touch! Wait. Wait, girl. Excuse me, girl, just a second. <laughs> I'm gonna blast her. I'm gonna blast her with this film here. No! She's cheating! How does touching work? What? But we had 
wonderful life. So we're getting one shot by her. That's good news. That is great news. Here we go again. Can't skip this. She already took half our health. Okay, so that's why we died. She took half our half our, half our health with the ninja jump on us. Items. We don't have anything where we can heal. I don't have any healing. Did I at least have one healing thing? Apparently no! Great! Okay, we're gonna be back with healing items. Sheesh! <laughs> Why is she sneaking? Oh, we're supposed to struggle right away. I lost a lot more health than last time now. Hang on, while we're in the menu, cheers. La cerveza más fina. Whew, let's go. Yeah, I'm learning how to dodge her. Why does she teleport in front of us? No! I can't see her. Take that, you little brat! I can't leave! <laughs> Don't smash the table. It's not good. It's a new table. It's a standing table. You don't want to smash the motors. <sighs> oh, shake it! Shake it off! Bam! Bam! I killed her. It was a double whammy with the new film.
Sure, let's save. I guess we're going to the next chapter. Wait, did I save or did I not save? I did save. She a ventriloquist? Sorry. So we get to play multiple characters. Okay, we gotta follow the character that looks like Yohaibara. Whoever that is, apparently he has some story here. Missing girls found alive. The five girls who went missing two weeks ago were found alive <clears throat> around 11 p.m. last night. The names of the girls are as follows. All are seven years old. Azo Mizaki, Nanamura Tomoe, Shinomiya Mari, Tsukimori Madoka, and Yomotsuki Ruka. Last one, uh, last one is the one that we were playing, and I think the first one is maybe the daughter of the professor or something, or something. The girls vanished during the accident stricken Rogetsu Kagura, leading some to say they were spirited away. They were found in a cavern beneath Haibara Infirmary by senior officer. Ko Cho Koshiro Kirishima of Amanura Police Department, Criminal Affairs Division, who confirmed their identities. The police are focusing their investigative inquiries on the staff of Haibara Infirmary. Notebook shows information on characters and events of the story. Tape recorder. Okay. Phase three. I wonder how many faces this game has. Ano toki, kami kakushi ni atta ruka tachi o kono byouin no chika de mitsuketa. Sore de subete ga owatta to omotte ita. Daga ano toki no gonin no uchi, futari ga shinda. Jigen wa owatte inai no ka. Okay, so is there a girl singing from this well? Certainly sounds like it. Let's jump inside head first. Find out. We're gonna find out on a level of 10 if we do that. F around and get crunched. <laughs> Wait, this guy has a flashlight as a weapon. <laughs> We're ready in combat. The Spirit Stone flashlight uses a spirit stone to store moonlight and emits light in blasts. You can use it to attack ghosts. Press Y to edit the spirit stone flashlight while ready to press... 
Okay. Do another ghost here. Oh! They're everywhere. Everyone, please get in the frame and BAM! Did I kill them? No. I kinda hate this. Oh, they're everywhere. I hate this. Where's the girl? Gosh darn and also dang nabbit. Sayaka said they might have already blossomed. What the hell happened to the people on this island? Does it have anything to do with Haibara being here? Something is lying where the ghost disappeared. Camera lens? Equipping the camera lens onto Choshira will enable him to take photos. You should remove it before fighting raids. Are you kidding me? So we gotta go into the inventory all the time. And remove it and put it on and remove it and put it on again. <laughs> Great. While well, equipped allows photos to be taken. And we gotta do this if we want some uh some uh, extra points of ghosts we see. Who takes photos with a flashlight? Apparently this guy. It's a warning note to infirmary employees. Please take extra care concerning nighttime wanderings of moonlight syndrome patients. When in charge of night watch, check the faces of the moon. On nights when the moon is full, ensure all locks and security procedures are in place. On nights when the moon is obscured, Increase patrol frequency. All right. Let's watch out for those uh, grabby hands. You do not want to get the grab, but oh, we can save here. Good stuff. That's a medicine. Pick everything clean before we move on. And then save again. Sheesh. Oh, this is the cave where he found the girls. They were all dressed. They're all weirdly dressed. Maybe Wait, can you um, take pictures of those weird dolls with him as well? Let's be on the lookout for those as well. Oh, 
Oh, is this nice? Alright, I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, <clears throat> let's save again. Let's actually do a, a heart save. So he took the elevator. We won't be able to just take the elevator and go into the cave. Maybe they're back in the cave. He doesn't even want to take it. What is this weird dead end? Is this a door? It's just a dead end? It's literally just... The corridor just continues here for no reason. Okay. Maybe it is a custom in these parts. He's running as fast as the girl. I like it. He's a real... Uh, He's a real Olympic champion. No, don't try it twice. All right, we gotta go upstairs. Okay, yo, yo, mm, mm, mm. Remember to take the lens off before combat. <clears throat> Great. So how about we go in there, huh? <laughs> it's nice and dark. There's lots to read in this game. In recognition of my fruitful research into the workings of the cranial nervous system, I've been assigned to work as an assistant to Dr. Shigeto Haibara at the Haibara Infirmary on Rogetsu Isle. Dr. Haibara is the leading researcher of Moonlight Syndrome, a condition peculiar to the Rogetsu Islands. The documents I've read describe Moonlight Syndrome as a composite mental disorder with curious symptoms such as sleepwalking and memory loss. Despite ongoing research, both the cause of the syndrome and the reason for its confinement to the Rogetsu Islands remain unknown. <clears throat> Dr. Haibara is currently working to discover the truth about the condition. He has taken a unique approach to treating Moonlight Syndrome, incorporating the folklore of the islands. Treatments such as musical therapy using the traditional Rogetsu Island moon sounds are unheard of in conventional psychiatry. I think Dr. Haibara's ideas are leading the profession in an exciting new direction. His research may not only cure Moonlight Syndrome, but also help to unlock the mystery surrounding the effect that memory has on the mind. It's fascinating. I have no doubt that working with Dr. Haibara will be a chance to gain valuable experience that simply can't be found on the mainland. Blue Spirit Stone. I'm not seeing any dolls anymore. Wait, he just found something else here. Another note. Great. <laughs> Medical file. Asagi, female, age six. Reported symptoms include fear of mirrors and memory loss, pointing to prototypical Moonlight Syndrome diagnosis. Symptoms progressing at moderate rate. Scheduled for surgical procedure next week under the orders of Director Haibara. Procedure was previously performed on two Moonlight Syndrome patients with more severe symptoms, producing no positive result. 
It is hoped that performing this procedure on a patient with relatively mild symptoms will lead to a development of a treatment for Moonlight Syndrome. Therefore, all involved are to take detailed notes and make appropriate reports afterwards. The above is confidential. Do not disclose to patients or others. I made a funny. Can we take a picture through this, maybe? We can not. Ah! Gotcha! <laughs> the Moonlight Syndrome. They have this weird uh, Moonlight Syndrome on this island, so we're just performing surgery on six-year-olds to fix it. You know, see if it works, and if not, eh, who cares, right? Let's do a little brain surgery. <laughs> Wait, well, I took a picture of her. What? Equip special lenses. While equipped allows photos to be taken. But I just took a photo, it gave us no points. Did it get a single spirit point? Dude, I'm always looking for this hand, grabbing my hand while picking something up, and there's never a hand. I mean, I'm not complaining, I just hate it. I mean, I am, I'm not, I mean, yeah. It's bad that they don't grab you, but it doesn't make it any more comfortable or any less annoying. Still always expecting it. Found a diary. They did surgery on me the other day. The other people who got the surgery didn't get better, so I said I didn't want to get the surgery. But the doctor told me it's okay. Since the surgery, it's all red inside my head, and I don't like it. My hair fell out too. That made me cry, but when I cried, there was blood in it. But Mama and the doctor say it's okay. My head is red and feels like it's melting. It hurts. I don't like it. I hope the pain melts away soon. Oh, there we go, points. Maybe I was too slow last time. What kind of a weird uh, room in the center of the hallway is this? Straight out of the mind of a mad person. Let's see what's behind curtain number three. 